what this chamber approved was 840, 819. And we said that the other monies that has been spent cumulatively to, was it 20 something trillion? That the details should be provided. It has never been provided to date. This committee or whatever should find out what happened to the money. And some people must be held responsible. Or at least they should come and explain to this Senate what they did with the money. Now it's time that people are looking for their money anywhere. Where is that money? That should be the big question. Exclude the fact that we can still go and investigate what we passed. So we are open to investigation. And there was a caveat at that time that we're going to investigate. We're going to, the details must be provided. So we are waiting. Anytime the Senate feels that we should go to investigate that, we investigate that. So to, for one now to say, for what, what happened then was a collective responsibility. And it was done in the interest of the nation and in line with our collaborative you know, stance with the executive of government. If some people spent money before bringing it to the parliament for approval or appropriation, where did they get the money they spent? Because they spent money and they came here to look for approval over money they have spent. Now it's not an obligation again. It is classified as obligation, 30 trillion. This debt overhang, Mr. President, is responsible for the problems we are having. This 30 trillion debt overhang, which nobody says he knows the detail how they spent that money outside 809 something billion, which this parliament, this Senate approved. 800 and something billion they approved. So about 20 something trillion, they knew nothing about it. They didn't know how the, the money was spent, what it was spent on, and we're carrying it on. What Nigerians want today is food and security. This belongs to the medium term or long term action that we need to take. How are we going to provide food for Nigerians and protect their lives tomorrow or from today? This report talks about it. Mr. President, let's, let's not put the card before the horse. Let's consider it necessary to look at what happened in the past. But we are in the present, and the present is so unpleasant. And we have to work to act very, very swiftly. You can see a lot of sponsored protests here and there. But those people are not aware. The, most of those, most of those sponsored protests are not aware of the kind of efforts being made by this Senate to tackle the situation, together with the joint management team of the federal government of Nigeria. And uh, I must say that unverified report has it that each of the state governments in the last few months have received additional 30 billion from the Federal Inland Revenue Service outside their normal allocations from the Federation account, outside their normal allocations to assist them in ameliorating the food situation. So we believe that every state government should utilize the funds so received towards ensuring that food is available about 30 trillion ways, I mean, not what President Tunibu can bring. This Senate will not rubber stamp anything that we feel is not in the interest of Nigerians. Yes. And that is the reason why we are discussing. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Those who are in support of what the Senate President is saying, say aye. 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 Those again say nay. So the, the expenses that we don't have details put us in the indebtedness that we have today. Yes. And therefore has affected even the ability of government to provide essential uh, needs and services for the public that we need to look into those things. Each state government, each state government in 2023 was given 18 billion naira. At once, some of the governors that benefited from that 18 billion naira are here. I'm sure Governor Lola can confirm that. And they did not, 
and uh, and they did not and they did not repay the money by the time they came to the Senate. For the National Assembly to find out what happened, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, nobody in this chamber should suggest that we shouldn't look to anything that we feel is in the public interest. But let me say this very clearly. What Nigerians want today is food.